today we'll be doing our faves, our current faves, and we decided just to call it that because we've been skipping months and we're not dedicated to the whole monthly fave, so this this is how it's gonna happen now. So bam, let's get to it. Yeah. Okay, so we start with clothing. Clothing. Ladies first. Oh, what a gentleman. Gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> so my first favorite is as always, I'm fucking wearing it. Oh. Are these pants? Okay. <laughs> okay. These we ain't about to do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's these white pants that I thrifted, and every time I wear them at work, I get a lot of compliments. When did you thrift those? With you. Or was it really? I don't remember. Anyways. Yeah, I took the D's and they're super comfortable and it's the first time I thrift some pair of denim and they like fit perfectly. Even and the white. waisted. Yeah. yeah. It was like five dollars. <laughs> so my first favorite, I actually got a Toronto and we're actually gonna upload a Toronto vlog hopefully anytime soon. I can't believe it's already back. I know. Uh is this puffer Ooh. from Uniqlo. And it's from the J.W. Anderson, so J.W. Anderson is like a designer, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't really know about him, but Yeah, they made a collab and they made this puffer that really looks like a Balenciaga puffer that I've seen I think it's Balenciaga, but it's like that crop, mm -hmm. crop front and then like longer in the back And it's this puffer it's so lightweight, it feels like you're wearing nothing Yeah, and I've been really into navy, as you can see <clears throat> And yeah so my next clothing favorite is actually an accessory. I've nailed down, I actually got a few like clothing favorite that I really like, but I thought I'd just like nail it down to the core. Mm-hmm. Nail. <laughs> <laughs> and it's this little oh cutesy bag. I got it around like my birthday in September and I've been wearing it ever since. It's just the most convenient bag. It has like two zippers and everything you need in a night when you go out will fit in this we'll bag. Fit. Don't underestimate. Yeah, you can shove things down there. Mm -hmm. So this was from Urban Outfitters. I'm really into that silver hardware. Oh thing. yeah, I've been really getting, well, yeah. I've always been into silver <laughs> hardware, but this is like the perfect silver and it's just, it just looks mm -hmm. a little edgy. Yeah, it's BQ. Ma. Next clothing favorite. It's also a bag that oh. I got oh. recently. Oh. And it's this bag! Oh. <laughs> So I actually saw it on my friend Alan from Toronto mm. and I was like, boy, where'd you get your bag? Because I'm a cop it too. And yeah, it's from H&M, which that? I don't even shop there. I don't even dare going in, going in there. Mm. So he made me go in and like I actually found it here in Montreal, not in Toronto. I guess it was sold out mm -hmm. there. And yeah, it's 3M. Like this bag is so amazing. I can literally fit, actually shove my whole life in here. <laughs> literally. Like I put my lunch, I put my laptop, I put my agenda, like everything fits in here. And there's like a small pocket here so I can leave oh. like cute shit in there. And I also realized you can reverse this. So like have it black on the outside. Be cool. Isn't there like a black version of this too? No, it's just black. It's just in um, 3M. So you can just flip it. <laughs> <laughs> and I've always wanted an oversized tote like my whole life and girl, I found it. Your whole life, now we found something that fits your whole life. Exactly. So good. My first care products oh. are, is, are these... Um, yes to tomato! Oh, you saw that. Yes, yes, yes to tomato. And no to this snow. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's tomatoes, clear skin, charcoal facial wipes for removing your makeup. These has been super good because they don't irritate my skin. Most of the wipes just burns. Oh shit. Feels like it burns. Mm -hmm, not good. <laughs> and I feel like the tomatoes or like the charcoal actually kind of helps the skin. Maybe it suits it. And it's yeah, suits nice. it. So totally recommend. My next favorite are these. Perfume from Clean, so I decided to get the travel size. Travel size. Oh, you have three. No, I have six actually. You bought a set? Yeah, it was a set. So like, uh, it was like the holiday set that they usually come out with at Sephora. Do you like them all? Oh, I love them all. And like, uh, they're known to be layering um, scents, so then you could like layer the scents and whatever, make like your own scent out of them. Okay, I don't. I can't find the last one. So I got six. 
and total. And it's just the best thing ever. Like for like a bottle of 10 milliliters, it's like 30, almost 40 bucks. So then oh. I got six for 60. That, oh. So like I, I saved a lot of money. <laughs> and yeah, like my favorite scent would be the warm <coughs> cotton, which smells like mm -hmm. laundry and a rain. Mm -hmm. This one, I don't know how it smells like. You want to smell? Yeah. Okay, send me your skin. Yeah. Send me your skin. Dab, 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 dab. Well, the whole clean line smells very like, light and light, refreshing. Yeah. And like, they even give you combos on how to like stack them, mm -hmm. and they all freaking smell good. Like, I, I see myself where every combo like mm -hmm. on different kind of days, you know? Mm -hmm. Moving on <laughs> to the next fave. This, the, the <laughs> Thayer's Rosewater Toner, and it's alcohol free. And this has been with me for a while. I remember back in the days I used to wear this and my skin was doing super well. And then afterwards I ran out of it and I tried the lemon one, which I did not like at all. So now I'm, I'm sleeping. Oh. So now I'm back on it and I feel like my skin definitely Is it a toner? It's a toner. It's the most the softest, hydrating, but uh not skin curing, but like uh soothing? Soothing you could ever have just because rose water has a lot of benefits and it's been a, month, a couple of months I've been trying yeah. this and then I got off of it and then when I came back like I saw a difference mm. so I totally recommend if you need a toner this one has been loved by everyone and, and it's good for the winter since it's like very hydrating mm -hmm. like I know rose water is hydrating mm -hmm. as well so. they say that this is actually good for like eczema and acne mm. which is like both of us <laughs> We're like on different spectrum, but we're still in the problematic areas, you know? <laughs> the mascara that I've been really enjoying is the Lash Paradise Voluminous Mascara and Waterproof. Everybody has been raving about it and saying that this is the legitimate dupe, dupe, dupe. of Better Than Sex, and I totally approve. This literally does the same thing, but at a cheaper price at, for $10 instead oh. of like $40. So go get it. Get your hands. <laughs> and a concealer that Don't has been very money. hyped up is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This has been mm. the most like coverage, flawless concealer. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have ever seen and it's so smooth and super long lasting. So, and it's $6. Good product for cheap, yo. Do you see that dark eye? <laughs> dark what is on your eye? Circles. Yeah. You don't. And the last one is the loose powder, which I've been like I never baked my face before, <laughs> but I tried it with this, and it's one of the most insane powders because it's supposed to be like waterproofing your makeup. Ooh, that's that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> but I totally live by what they say and approve of what they say and it's a little bit more expensive but if you're looking for a good powder if you're not wanting to try Laura Mercier this is another good one wow went straight to the point <laughs> <laughs> okay so our next pro um category is like miscellaneous i guess already. like so me let me start oh i'm ready oh i'm ready i'm ready if y'all are coffee drinkers or like tea drinkers and like to put milk Oh, I, I have a new revolutionary product for you guys because it's this one and it's the Silk Almond. Oh. This one is a Silk Almond, but there's also a coconut one and it's flavored like vanilla, I think. Lord have mercy has this changed my life. <laughs> so first of all, like I stopped drinking dairy mm -hmm. and this is like a product that has no dairy and yeah, I just like replace it with this. Replace it with this. Okay, this is especially for... Yeah, it's especially coffee. like coffee or like I like to put it in my tea because I like having like tea, you know, like that fake bubble tea. Bit, <laughs> is the coconut one you showed me like the same as this one, but like... Yeah, exactly. So like, it I tastes really coconut, like coconut instead of almond, but like it tastes so good. You don't even have to put that much and it, I don't even put sugar anymore in my mm -hmm. thing. I think there's some sugar, but mm -hmm. not that much. So yeah. I approve too because you made me try it. It's so good. Y'all need to get on this silk. Okay, so me for my first miscellaneous, y'all aren't ready. Yo, 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 okay, remember when I was obsessed with dragon fruit, mm. 
we were obsessed. We were obsessed, but like expensive, expensive, and like not all year round. Exactly, and grapes were in season, mm -hmm. and the pristine brand green <laughs> grapes are so good because the grapes are so hard. Oh yeah, like they give that crunchiness, oh, the crunchiness, y'all, and then juiciness in your mouth. Yo, I got the grapes from um, Costco, like the cotton candy grapes, but they weren't crunchy. Ooh, oh, I was deceived, bitch. <laughs> like crunchy makes <laughs> all the difference. Yo, this was eight dollars, and I still bought them because that's how obsessed I am. Damn, bro. But to compromise that expensiveness, I got into pears, <laughs> and this is so juicy. Is I don't this know what. Is an Asian pear? No. It's no, not. it's not. Uh, Shalon Fresh, okay, so Barlet USA, <laughs> 4024. I don't know what's the name, but uh, this type of pair, like when it, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say after that? Just juice, <laughs> juice, juice, juice. I mean, I guess it's obvious because it's fruits, but. Yeah, whatever. It's juicy. My next item is a stationery, which is from Muji, and it's my new agenda. <laughs> And I fucking love this agenda because like you can start it any fucking time any sorry any day of the year mm -hmm. like it's literally like it tells it's <coughs> I don't know like how to show you guys but like like you have to write in the months and you have to write the dates and it just has like the Monday Tuesday Wednesday and then yeah you go from there and it's just very simple very clean which mm -hmm. we like and yeah I've been like planning my days recently because I feel like I haven't been as productive by not finding them so yeah I love this mm -hmm. so sitting in the same spectrum of Muji mm -hmm. let me just tell you this little story where I told her to go to Muji numerous times numerous times that she never bought something no. until I actually went with her like because every time I went like my friends were like okay I'm over <laughs> it I'm like <laughs> Alvin got me this um, notebook when he went to Asia, and I finally got to use it. This notebook, yo, I finished it. <laughs> it's the smoothest paper, paper my pen and hands have ever touched <laughs> before. Touching, touch, <laughs> touch before. So when I went back to Toronto with Alvin and went back to Muji, I got a smaller version. And, and I really love it. I also got this mechanical pencil from mm. there. This is such a quality mechanical pencil. Let me tell you a story. When I was little, <laughs> I love collecting mechanical pencils. So when I saw this one, this was no different. I had to get it. Wow. Oh, my mom just keeps on screaming. Hammer drama. <laughs> I also really like these pens. And these pens are, you know the teacher pens where they used to correct yeah. your homework? Yeah. I found these at work and I started using them and they're so and good. Stole them. <laughs> Talking about pens, I have a pen too. And this is my new favorite Ooh. Muji pen. And it looks like this. It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I just like how smooth it like writes. And yeah. I don't like ink pens because sometimes I write really hard and like it would just like all uh. week and I'll be like on to our music favorites. <laughs> How to jam. <laughs>
Testing! Testing, testing! <laughs> Hit! <laughs> you think so? Mm -hmm. It was worth my money. Okay, so my next fashion favorite. Uh, <laughs> 